Very good. My play is STLA, Stellantis. For those of you not extraordinarily familiar with the name, now the parent company of Jeep, Chrysler, Fiat, and several other major automakers. Zooming in, though, on Jeep, because they are debuting or at least teasing their concept Jeep Wrangler electric vehicle. And this is no ordinary Jeep, folks. It goes zero to 60 in two seconds. It's an off-road Magneto 2.0. It's powered by four 800-volt battery packs. Though the first fully electric Jeep we expect on the market won't come this year, likely comes in 2023, and is said to resemble the Jeep Compass. That at least is the working theory. But this thing, unlike that uh, Tesla Cybertruck, that is a beautiful looking off-road concept vehicle they have teased today. How about the stock? Stellantis stock, mostly flat to end the week. Eking out, oh, I thought they'd eke out a win, but sliding a fraction of a percent. Right now, though, down 24% year to date, Stellantis. I want to button up, though, on that um, pro earlier play on Peloton. I don't know, Emily, if you saw the strength training product they teased earlier. They say it's going to be 40% cheaper than the original plans are. I don't exactly know what it is, but it's exciting to hear some new, exciting opportunities. I'm a big believer in the platform, the app, as well as the bike. It'd be nice to see what the strength training product is. Dave, I'm definitely curious about that as well. Of course, we may be getting more details in the coming weeks, of course, ahead of that company's fiscal third quarter earnings results and call, likely to come in the first week of May. We'll see uh, what date that ultimately ends up being as well as what details on subscriber growth that Peloton can provide at that point. Uh, but that's going to be it for our triple play.